Kyla Loves Makeup XO and I just filmed a video video mood it's going to be my nail polish collection at home a lot of nail polish it's seriously a problem I probably actually have the amount of nail polish that two nail salons have together it's a problem like I don't even know how much to say like it's seriously a problem and at school you don't even want to get me at school. Alright, at school, you know the drawer, like, plastic things that you can store? I don't know. But let me just tell you, I counted at school, and I think I have 200 nail polishes at school. Like, 200, maybe like 100 and something, but it's seriously bad. I put them all in here, and I figured, why not do a nail polish collection at home? Maybe when I get to school, I'll do a nail polish collection at school. I do have a lot more at school. I'm going to show you the ones I have here. So I store them in this container that I got at the dollar store. It's just a blue container and I'm really going to get into it. Um, I just have some nail polish remover. This is the lemon nail polish remover. Like it smells like lemons, but well, it's supposed to smell like lemons, but it doesn't. So I don't know. By the way, my wall here is blue because I'm painting my walls blue and the walls over there are green. So sorry if it looks weird. That's how it is right now. And that's a really, I live in a really old house, so my doors are, well, it's only my door is like wicked old fashioned, so sorry about that. But, so the nail polish remover. And then, I'm gonna get into it. First thing are these nail stickers. My best friend gave these to me, and I have not used them yet. Um, and then the first nail polish is the Sally Hansen Instant Dry Fast, and it's in snappy sorbet it's a really pretty like peachy color that i just almost dropped nice catch the next jeez the next one is um the sally hansen magnetic is there a color and graphite graphite gravity so that's what that looks like the next one is this L'Oreal, the magic top coat, um, and it's in, what is this in, the holographic, but it doesn't really show up that well, but it's super cool if you can see, yeah, you can see it has, like, blue glitter, it's really cool. That, and then I have this Essie nail polish in a cut above, yeah, a cut above, which is just, like, this glittery pink. I have this OPI in uh, Brulette, Burelette, my whistle. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is what it looks like. It's like a glittery one. I have this Love and Beauty one from Victoria, from Victoria, from Forever 21, and it's in charcoal. Which is just like, it's like a dark grayish, blackish. Um, I have this Sinful Colors one in All About You. And it's like this bronzy copper color. And then I have this OPI one in Tomorrow Never Dies. And it's a dark purple. Super pretty. It's showing up blue, but I promise it's purple. This Sally Hansen Heart as Nails in Sturdy Sapphire, which is a blue. Um, this Revlon in Pink Chiffon, which is like a light baby pink. I got this in my one of my Ipsy bags. This is the Nika K New York, and it's in... doesn't have a color. Um, hold on. It just says New York 112, so I'm guessing that's the color. But, um, yeah. But it's a pretty, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like, describe it, but you saw it. Um, then I have this Maybelline Color Show Holographic, um, polish, and it's in Blue Blaze. Just like that. I have this Revlon Top Speed Nail Polish in Crystal Glow, and it's kind of like a light yellow, 
like an Easter egg yellow. Okay. I have this one from the dollar store. It's the Wet n Wild Beauty Benefits Nail Polish. And there's no color, but it's like a maroon. Sorry, it's upside down. It's a maroon color. And then I have another color show vintage. It's it says vintage leather and it's vintage violet. That's what it says. But it's like a purple, like a dark purple with like light purple specks in it. I don't know if you can see it, but. Jeez. I got her on clearance uh, for $2.08. Um, and then I have this OPI, which is a really cool color. And it's in heart. <sighs> I don't know because it's like peeled off but um it's a super it's like a cool cool color and then I have another Essie and this is in over the edge and it's like a dark color it's not black but it's like a dark gray and then I have this OPI which is super super pretty and labels off at the bottom but it's like a sparkly purple I have this SC1 in Tarte Deco, which is so pretty. It's like a peach color again, but it's like lighter. It's so, so pretty. Um, I have this Nicole by OPI in Stars at Night, and it's just a glitter. Another Nicole by OPI, which is another glitter, and it's in Heavenly Angel. It looks like. Another Nicole by OPI, and it's what's the mituation? What's the mituation? It's like a purplish blue. I don't really like these bottles, they're really weird. Um, and then I have this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in mellow yellow. Another like light yellow. And then I have another Maybelline color shadow holographic and this is in Lavender Luster. And it's super pretty. It's like gray with a purple tint. And then I have this other OPI in Not For Individual Sale. Which is a weird ass name but it's glitter. Then I have this Sinful Colors in Zinking of You, and it's like a bronzy kind of color. It's pretty. Then I have this Zoya Polish in Neve, which is a blue. And then I have this Pure Ice one in Deja Vu, another blue. I really like blues. Two more Zoya polishes. This one's in Neely and it's like a mint green. And then this one's in Odette, which is like a purple. And another one of these color shadows, Maybelline, in Sage Staple, which is like a sage color. Um, another Essie in Bikini Sofini. Which is like, ooh, sorry. Which is like a blue. Sinful Colors in Midnight Blue. Which just looks how it... I don't know what I was trying to say there. But, um, another Love and Beauty. This one's in... What? The other one said Charcoal too. I don't know why they all say Charcoal. But this is a gray, like, silver. Another Essie in Come Here. Um, this is a creative. I don't know what that is. And Rock Royalty. It's a deep purple. And then this one's an Ulta one. And this one's in Plum Street. Which is like a dark red. Another OPI. This is in Naughty 
nautical naughty nautical sorry that took me forever pretty blue and then this is a funky fingers i'm pretty sure i got this at five below and this is in taffy town which is in the pink and then almost done i have this i think this is hard candy i'm not sure no this is wet and wild it's a really pretty like sparkly i love this on top of a color it's so pretty then i have some of these revlon um nail art expressionists i don't know they're just like two polishes this one's in monette and then this one doesn't have a name so that's what that looks like and then this one, the black one is in black, and this one's in night and day gifts. I don't know. It's just a black and white one. And then this one, the blue, doesn't have a name. Pink is in pop art. Ew, what is that? White nail polish. Cool. Um, and then for art, I have this julep one in Ellie. It's like a purple And then for mini ones, for mini ones I have mini OPI ones and these ones don't have names on them but this one's like a copper-ish, gold-ish. And then this one's a like grayish purple and then this one's a yellow. And then this little Sally Girl one and this doesn't have a name either but it's like a pink and then, last two are just top coats. I have the Seche Vite. I don't know. That's what it looks like. And then I have this Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle. And there's a cat hair in it. And then, some nail clippers. And what's this? Another nail clipper. I don't know how many nail polishes there are. Hold on. So I have 53 nail polishes right here and at school I probably have 153. So yeah, I have a problem. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to do one at school. Okay, 